In this episode of Leepu and Pitbull, <laughs> guys customize a 72 Ranchero. He's the editor and owner of Dub Magazine. Really? It's their greatest challenge ever. You don't have a plan, we don't have the job. To unveil it at the New York Auto Show. If it's not show ready, it's not going to get in the show. I need a drawing. I don't do drawing. I feel good when I chop because new line is going to form. My own line. I don't see any of this going on. Leave that header on, take that header off. I want to get this engine on a stand. Right now, I don't need a miracle. I need three miracles. Yeah! Gangster! Yeah! There's nothing more American than a custom car. But today, custom means expensive. I'm Steve Pitbull, mechanic by trade. My dream? Make one-of-a-kind cars, but make them affordable. Body work? I don't do body work. How? Meet Leepu. The hammer made the world. He's a car designer from Bangladesh I first saw online. He takes old junk scraps and builds unbelievable cars by hand. This is my paintbrush, and these are my sculpting tools. Nobody in America builds stuff like this. I'm a simple guy with a big dream to be the greatest car designer in America. So I brought him here to do things a little differently. No, no. Bangla way. And make both of our American dreams come true. Oh, It's a cold start at Pitbull Motors, and the only customer willing to brave the freezing weather is the owner of a 72 Ford Ranchero, and this guy is no ordinary customer. How's it going, man? All right. Oh, Hold that there, oh, huh? It's freezing out there. Hi, Don. I'm Miles Kovacs Steve. with uh, Dub Magazine. I, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. As soon as Miles walks in the door and tells me who he is, opportunity just starts clinging in my brain. I just, uh, I've been hearing a lot about your shop, and uh, I brought a project from California. Really? I just came in from California. Wow. So why don't we do this? I'm going to open the door. You're right out front, right? Yeah. We'll see what's what. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. We approve. Check this out. Good right there. That's good. He just drove this here from L.A. L.A.? He's the editor and owner of Dub Magazine. Really? Magazine. Wow. 1972 Ranchero. Yep. Miles Lee How are you doing, Lee Poo? Pleasure Miles. Pleasure. Pleasure, Miles. Pleasure yeah. I actually drove a 1964 Ranchero from California myself, cross country, with a buddy of mine many years ago. Oh, that's awesome. So this thing brings back some memories right now. Oh, for sure, for sure. So what are you thinking? What are you feeling with the car? You know, this car is special to me. This is actually my father's car. Growing up, he drove a Ranchero, so I bought this All car right. for him as a gift. I want to make sure to maintain, you know, the, the sleekness, but also make it look really sinister. Yeah. American hustle meets American muscle. You know, if the car looks the way it should look, I'll put it in Dub Magazine. All I need is my car in that magazine, and guess what? Phone's gonna ring off the hook, business is gonna pour in. So you do all the work? Yeah, I do all the body work. You guys use computers and? No, that's not my style. What do you use? All I need, my eye, my brain, my hands, and my heart. That's scary. He's crazy. That is unheard of in this industry. So, Lee Poo, you're, what, are you, what are you thinking? I might, I need some inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. I need some inspiration. Because I need to know what you guys are doing if I'm going to leave my car here. You don't worry about it. These guys want to go forward with me. I'm a businessman. I need to see a plan. I'm watching this opportunity slip through my fingers. So the only thing I can do is get out of there. I'd like to take this for a test drive. Let's see if you guys can get some inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can Let find some inspiration on the road, huh? Let's Let me go. see what you got. Dude, I mean, it's a, it's oh, a huge my. car. Oh, dude. I see something. There you go. It's a boat, man. It's a boat. So here we are on a 1972 Ford Ranchero. Part car, part pickup. That, that's a nice combination. So they started making these cars back in 1957. Sold about a half a million of them. Half a million? Yeah. Wow. 
The 72 Ranchero shared the same looks as its muscle car cousin, the Torino Cobra, but had none of its 370 horsepower. I want to make this thing go. I want to make it nasty. You know, look, Leepu, this is chance of a lifetime to work on this. But if they're going to seal the deal, Leepu's going to need a plan. Let's think about what's in your head so you can elaborate and pump out something. You pump got... out? Uh, how? It's not a, I'm not a machine that pump it out. I'm getting nervous, I got to tell you. You have to have a plan before we get back there. Because uh. if you don't have a plan, we don't have the job. So how was it? It was great. It was great. What do you guys think? It's like a boat, man. It just floats <laughs> along. What about you? Any inspirations? Well, I'd like to put a nice, lightweight, newer, big cube crate engine in it. For also, sure. transmission. Got to do some work there. Maybe add an overdrive switch to it, you know? What about you, Mr. Magic Hands? Did you get some inspiration? I'm under pressure, but still I don't know what, what I'm going to do to it. I can, I can do a lot of things with the car, you know? I can taper down the whole front end like that. Lee Poo, in the best way he can, tries to be explanatory to Miles. Walking around his car, doing all of this stuff. And I'm just hoping that Miles gets it. You can make the fender flare like that, and make a wave boom like that, and, and flare the whole thing around like that. It can be a killer car, I'm telling you. Is this dude always like that? Listen, I speak his language, bro, and I got to interpret love your passion. all the time. I love your passion. I love the passion. I love your passion. I'm excited, because I want to see Lupu start banging the metal and take it back to the old school. But I've never taken any of my cars to another shop ever since I was 16 years old. I'm willing to take a gamble. So what are we looking at dollar-wise? Um, a call like this could easily be a $20,000 build on $20, a budget. $20,000? I mean, that, that's a lot of money. You tell me what you feel comfortable with. With the magazine exposure, I think a fair offer would be 10 grand. You know what 10 grand I'm coming out of pocket on this. You know, if the car looks the way it should look, show ready. Oh, it will be. I'll put it in the New York Auto Show in the dub area. <laughs> That's the a New game changer. The New York Auto Show has a million plus people. That's a lot of exposure. Magazine, car show. Are you kidding me? I would do this car for free. But let me tell you one thing. If it's not show ready, it's not going to get in the show. That, you got a deal? Definitely deal. deal. You're not going to let me down, right, Mr. No. Magic Hand? I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to get that car done. You got four weeks. And remember, it's my dad's car. You are not going to be let down. You're going to be very happy with what we give you. Four weeks. Four weeks. We'll keep four you weeks. updated, bro. Right. Bye, Miles. You have a Thanks, pleasant man. flight, Miles. Take care. Thank you. New York Auto Show, Dub yeah. Magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Pitbull and Lipu have only four weeks to make a show car worthy of the New York Auto Show. Lipu needs to find his real inspiration fast. You gotta talk to Lipu, man. I don't want him to sit there and start cutting guys, the car. Guys, listen, Dub Magazine? Yo, yeah, it's, it's, a all, car. it's all about wheels. Yeah. Wheels. Big, fat wheels. You know, if I can find the right set of wheels, I'll get my inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, his inspiration comes from burns. The things of that nature. Today, he's right where he should be with being inspired by wheels, finally. Let me find my rims, the right, right, right ones. Deal. Then I'll have my inspiration. I will take that right now. Outstanding. Correct. Perfect. Let's go. Great. Pitbull normally repurposes engines from his junkyard, but that's not going to fly for a show quality car. It's got to look and be amazing. So he's come to see John, owner of JTM Motorsports, who's the only man who has greater hunger for horsepower than Steve. I got myself a uh, 72 Ranchero we have to work on, and I'm interested in some power. Not only that, it's going to look good, it's going to look real good. Okay. I'm talking like show quality. You don't do show quality. Well, this time around, we're looking to. You want a special engine? I'll show yeah. you a special engine. Wow. Is this special enough for you? 
526 cubic inch all aluminum Hemi, twin 88 turbos, custom headers, about 3,500 horsepower. You can build you something like this for that Ranchero. I'm sure you could, man. I'm sure you could. I'll only run you about 100 grand. Yeah, well, we're looking to spend a tenth of that on the whole build. A tenth on the whole build. The thing is, this particular car is owned by a guy, Miles Kovacs. He has it's a New York car show, which I know I think you got a couple of cars in there, This right? is one of them. Yeah? All right, so there's got to be somebody you know who you can use the magazine and the car show as a bargaining tool with. Man, if you can guarantee me that this car is going to be in the New York auto show, I'll make a few phone calls, and I'll try to get you a freebie. Now we're talking, man. But if this car is not there, somebody's going to have to pay for that motor. Got my word on that. Sounds good. So I'm a little psyched. There's a glimmer of hope that I might be getting a free engine. And I have to produce. If that car doesn't get in that show, guess what? I'm screwed. Back at the shop, the mechanics have been busy on the Ranchero. Wow, man, cranking along pretty good here, huh? The interior stripped out, the engine's out, you know? But with no engine, Pitbull's left with a gaping hole and nothing for the crew to work on. Guys! It's down to Lipu to come up with something. I got my inspiration. What do you got there? Wheels. Wheels? Wheels? Yeah, this for the back and this for the front. They're wood. What is going through this guy's mind? We're not building a Flintstone car. Master mechanic Pitbull and car designer Lipu are two days into their most ambitious project yet. Customizing a 1972 Ranchero for the New York Auto Show. Look at that! Lipu's finally found his design inspiration for the car. Wheels? Yeah. They're wood! These are the actual size. This is the wheel. Mock-ups. All right. So, let me show you. I get it. Car modifiers sometimes use mock-ups. Lipu's staggering 24-inch rims are nearly 2 inches higher and 50% wider than the wheels on a 26-ton truck. Do you know how much work it is to make a wheel that big fit this truck? Well, we're going we're to do it. And in the front, we'll be like mean like a Dodge Challenger. Huh? And then we'll shave the hood top. So Brian and I are standing there watching Lipu dance around that car, and I know what he's thinking, the same thing I am. If we have any hope in getting this thing done right in four weeks' time, we have to have a plan, and we all have to be on the same page. What about our plan, not your plan? Our plan. In Bangladesh, over the last 20 years, Lipu's designed and built many world-class custom cars. He works alone to meticulously handcraft the cars, and he's never put a single idea down on paper. Yeah, we need a solid plan. I need a drawing. I don't do drawing. You don't hear that very well. This car has to be done for a car show. It has to be done. Drawing the design, I've never done it in my life. And I don't know how to express it. How to express my emotion and feelings about the lines and to Brian and he's going to draw it. I've never done it. I mean, well, how? I, you go like this down, and you I can feel, feel it. the line. And you go like this with the line. And I stand back here and I draw how you, you go like this with your hands. And if it's not right, I take the eraser, you do it again, I do it again, and we nailed it. Before you know it, we have a program to follow as a team. Well, you know what? I can give it a try. Thank God. We try. We make it work. We can do this. Good stuff. I am so psyched that he's actually going to participate in a team effort, actually making a drawing. I am so pumped that he's finally working in the right direction. Brian and Becker construct the mock-up wheels. At least we know we won't get a flat. And bolt them onto the car. Yeah, cool. All right, so, yo, who's taking his bad boy for a test drive? Me. Leepu, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, one horsepower. Right. <laughs> Leepu, you look good in there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Flintstones. <laughs> wow. Let's, I can start chopping the car. We can start drawing the car. Yeah. The normal way that I do design doesn't scare me. But in this way, 
Excuse me, how am I going to express my feeling to somebody else? And he's going to draw the lines. Just a very slick roof, like slick. Working with Lee Poo's at no design. There's no rhyme, there's no reason. To get a plan out of him, to get a drawing out of him, it's huge. So this line? It's going to have a nice wave. Wave, like rise up and down, drops down again. Yeah. yeah. Huge wheel. The sketch gives Brian and the team the vital template they need to take on the design challenge of such big wheel flares. It's going to be pretty crazy looking. While Brian gets started on the side panels, Lipu can now start freestyling on the front with his favorite tool, the cutting wheel. That's it. First cut. No messing around. No time to lose. All about chopping. I feel good when I chop because new line is gonna form. My own line. When Lipu's in full mode, you need to stand back, give him plenty of room, just don't ask any questions. <laughs> That's my nice. He knows what he's doing. It's just scary to watch. I don't see any of this going on. I don't need actually measuring tools. This is enough. The design doesn't come by measuring. Design come by itself in your head. If this car is, what, is a person, he will be a gangster. Bad ass gangster. Bad, real bad. Soon, Lipu's making dramatic progress with the air intake on the hood almost formed and the front end taking shape. Brian, on the other hand, is still measuring. Now, this is, this is taken from uh, a different book. The tape measure comes from the book of Brian, not from the book of Lipu. Fine. Thanks, bud. Lipu, come in here. I knew I should have checked earlier. I knew before they cut that car, I should have went out there and I should have asked him. Seven. Yo, dude, I just got off the <sighs> phone with this guy in the wheel business. When I told him we needed 24 inch wheels in three weeks, he laughed at me. Told me three months, we're not gonna get them. Lee Poo and Pitbull have just three weeks to customize a 72 Ranchero for the New York Auto Show. But they've just discovered the custom wheels they need could take up to three months to build. Those wheels don't grow on trees like the wooden wheel. Those wheels have to be special ordered. They need to call in a huge favor from one of the biggest players in the business. Hi, Miles. Hey, Miles, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's going on? You want to see the car? Like, oh. Yeah? There you go. That looks amazing. That looks hot. Yeah, go ahead. We're waiting on the wheels. We can show you what we got. This is what we're working with right now. So, those look huge. 22 at the front and 24 at the back. The problem is, this size rims, it's not hard, it's hard to find, special order. You know, we tried to get some, but when I call people for this size wheel, I just got laughed at. They basically hung up the phone on me, so. Yeah, well, I mean, I know a little bit of something about that. Wow. So, you know, maybe I could um, call a couple friends. Okay. And, uh, try oh, that would out. be great. Oh. But you guys got to remember, the auto show's only three weeks. Oh, yes. yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll check on the wheels and I'll get back to you. Thank, Thank you very you, much, man. Miles. He said he'll try to help us find the rims, but no promises. If, if it is delayed, we're going to miss them the motor show. Besides wheels, the car is still missing two other crucial mechanical parts. Right now, I don't need a miracle. I need three miracles. I need a set of wheels and an engine and a transmission. Pronto. Just as real doubts arrive, Johnny's here. So does a truck. Who do I see backing up to my door? Not nosing up, but backing up to my door. You know what that means? Somebody's got something for me. Over the years, Pitbull's helped guys out with parts. And now this karma might just be coming back around. Steve, not much. What brings you in the neighborhood? Got a little something for you. Ooh, I like the sound of that. My buddies over at uh, TNT Engineering decided to supply you with a brand new 347 stroker motor. Nice. Wow, this cool. is sweet. Aluminum heads. Yep. A lot of horsepower right here, bud. Well, another little surprise. Oh, there's more? 
Our buddies over at uh, Freddie Brown Transmissions. Really? They want to donate a transmission. This is great, man. I can't thank you guys enough. You got it, This man. is it's great. Problem, man. This model of a small block V8 was first used in the early Ford Shelby Mustangs. This one has been precision bored and stroked. With this $7,000 engine, Pitbull can boost the Ranchero from 168 to 450 horsepower. Yo, good stuff, man. Psyched. You know the deal, dude. It's not in the New York Auto Show or Javits. You're paying for it. It's a gamble I gotta take. See you at the car show. And the drinks are on me. All right, brother. Good seeing you. All right, fellas. Thanks. Take care. The four-speed automatic overdrive transmission is used in high-end drag racing. It's $3,000 off the shelf. But together, these two parts give the car the show quality looks and muscle it needs. While the team works with shiny new kid at the shop, Lipu heads to more familiar ground. Jimmy's Junkyard is a one-of-a-kind place piled high with parts. For Lipu, there's nowhere better to look for inspiration for the rear of the car. For me, Junkyard is a toy store or candy store, and this place is a heaven for me. Lipu. Hey, Jimmy. I can always count on you wandering around here looking for something. Uh, how are you doing? What's up today? Lipu is my only customer that comes here with a shopping cart looking for something, and he doesn't even know what he wants until he sees it. But I'm starting to understand this guy. There's a big build, a Ranchero, 72. Nice. And there's going to be a very mean-looking, gangster-looking car. The most important thing is this car is going to the New York Motor Show. When? Uh, three weeks now. Can't believe you're so optimistic that you think you're going to get a car on the auto show in three weeks. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Well, I'd like to take a piece of that cake. <laughs> let's go. Let's go find something. Yeah. Like, All I right. Know. I got an idea for you here. Wow. This is uh, a late challenger. Yeah, it just yeah. Came in. Oh, great. Wow. That's really I, nice. I don't know if you do anything with this, but what do you think? Oh, this oh, is on I'm, I'm, I'm thinking taking this off. This is something that I can't even believe even he's getting into. Next morning, there's a nice surprise for Miles. He sent two replica wheels, one for the front and one for the back wheel. They're not the final wheels, but have the exact same dimensions. Dude, it looks pretty awesome, right? I mean, the back of the car looks like an F1 car with the arches off. Looks crazy. Sitting on 24s. The wooden wheels help set a guide for the height, but these replicas allow them to pinpoint it now with total accuracy and there's no margin for error. Lower, lower, lower. There, there lower. you go. That looks like a nice car, like a gangster looking, you know? He can shoot with a gun like that. Why? I, I never knew that's why they do that. It's nice, not nice right height. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. It's nice. But it doesn't take long for Mechanic Bill to discover that the wooden mock-up wheels masked a serious mechanical problem caused by the design. Here's the flare. See if there's enough on it. Close. At Lipu's gangster ride height, the flared fenders hit the giant wheels, and the car can't turn. If you look down on this wheel, it's it's sticking out, you know, past here. So we're going to be smashing our fender. I don't have time for extensive modification. To get it slammed like that in the front with these giant wheels is going to be super hard. We're back to square one. Go up. To drive the car. They need a ride height that will clear the front fenders. But for the show, they also need to set it low for Lee Boo's gangsta looks. And on the current suspension, Brian can only offer one height. All right, so uh, apparently, you know, the suspension is somewhat of an issue with these ride heights and, and such, right? I mean, will those wheels work with the stock suspension? No. So what do we need to do? Ideally, this thing should be on air. Bagged, huh? Bad, yep. yeah. All right, it is what it is. I'm going to have to drop some coin, go get some airbag suspension. All right. Adjustable air suspension used on trucks, luxury cars, low riders, and show cars is the only solution. Pitbull has to find a set, and fast. So, Lee Poo had to make the decision to put these big, giant wheels on the car. And in doing that, I got to get big, giant suspension, which is going to cost... Big giant dollars. Back at the shop, progress is stalled on the bodywork. Everyone is waiting for the crucial part. 
We're coming down to the wire. Um, this car's got to get to the body shop. They can't even get the metal work done if we don't have the suspension here. Later that afternoon, and still no sign of Pitbull. Where's Steve? Yo, I don't know, man. <sighs> Please leave your message. Steve, Lipu here. You've been gone for three hours, dude. Just, it doesn't take that long to pick up parts. Dude, waiting for you. Call me back or just come back with the parts. We gotta get on with it. Five miles across town, Pitbull is not buying car parts. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Let's see if anybody's home. Pitbull's been told there's a badly treated dog trapped in a car. We'll get him. He isn't called Pitbull for no reason. Who does this to a dog? When he finds a Pitbull in distress, he rescues it. Oh my God, you stink. Come on. Uh, come on. Get it. Sorry, girl. Man, you stink. You stink. Oh. Sit down. Pitbull fell in love with these dogs when he was 11 years old and has been looking out for them ever since. I started scraping them up. Somebody caught on to what I was doing and asked if I'd do a newspaper article, which I did. The next thing you know, my name is Pitbull. Over the last 25 years, he's rescued over 100 dogs. Sit down. Come on. Come on. And this one is covered in injuries. You know, right now, I know Leap was waiting on that suspension, but you know what? This dog needs vet care. I gotta put the suspension off for a minute. Oh, yeah, dog. Pitbull takes the dog for emergency treatment. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, she's had some rough going. Oh, everywhere. Every little corner, she's got something. You know, this could be from a dog fight where she's been bitten in these joints. Could all be from dog fights, but honestly, that looks more like a... Like a fractured skull. Like, <laughs> just laying there like... She's comfortable. It's amazing. Are you in good hands, girly? Huh? You fell in a good place, didn't you? Wait down, wait down, wait down. After the x-ray, found out it wasn't as serious as it could have been. Sigh of relief. What cut you up? There you go. Feel better now? Feel better? Really? That's what Leepu's gonna say when he sees you. He's gonna say, really? So you know what? That's what we'll call you. Really? Oh. Leepu arrives the next morning, and with nine days till the New York Auto Show, he's- Morning. Oh. Over here. What is this? Oh, wow. Why is that? Why is it like that? Well, the person that owned this dog really didn't take care oh of it properly. Oh my God! Look at the dog is so poor dog. Yep, mm. I named it too. Ooh, what? Really? Really? <laughs> hey, really? You went for the suspension and it came out with with the dog. Don't worry, man. It's in the car. I got it. Oh, okay. Guess how much it cost? How much? Four thousand seven hundred dollars. <laughs> The adjustable air suspension just chewed up half their entire budget on the car. I gotta unpackage this suspension, put this car on air, it'll ride nicer, it's easier maintenance, and less man hours. And we're already on a tight enough schedule. There's only four days before the car must go to paint, and six days before the auto show, but there's still plenty to do on the mechanics. This is an air strut body, that as you fill it up, this chamber will expand, thus raising the car. And when you let the air out of it, it'll go all the way down. This is the first bag going in. The compressor under the seat will force air along tubes into the bags to give any height required. And it's a race to get it in, on time, and the rest of the body work finished. Just about done fitting this panel, and then we'll move on to the other side. Even though we're really working hard, rushing it up, 
I'm excited because the car is getting together. I want to see my finish lines. All the design is one in one piece. So now we have all the suspension struts in, and we have all the lines ran, and we have our tank setup finished. We got all your air on, buddy. Done? Done? Wow! Ready? Yep. That's nice. Low and low. Just nice. <laughs> low will work for the auto show, but it's got to be able to rise so the car can hit the road. Yep. All right. Up. Can we steer the wheels and go like back and forth there? <laughs> Full turn. Looks good. It's got a lot of clearance. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right height. Perfect. Great right job. Done, 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 done. Uh, Lipu's super happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. That's nice. I'll be able to sleep better tonight. Inside the car, Pitbull's still got a lot of work to do on the engine. Here's the deal. Leave that header on, take that header off. I don't want to disturb it. Uh, I want to get this engine on a stand. But there's such a strict deadline on this car. You got, you know, five guys working on the car. Everybody's on top of one another. This makes a lot of sense to get everything done. I'm installing a pulley kit, an accessory, basically dressing the front of the engine with the power steering and cooling pump and the front engine cover and everything it needs to run. Oh, man, look at that. Nice, large brakes. Time's running out. To keep on schedule, the car must be drive ready tomorrow. If it isn't, they'll never make the car show. Turn and burn tonight, boy. Everybody's in house, reaching deep. Lee Boo and Pitbull have been racing to get a 72 Ranchero ready for the New York Auto Show. That worked for you, bud? Yeah. The crew have worked through the night. The suspension is fitted, the engine is back in, and the wheel arches are finally finished. Wow, they're on. They're on. Very late night. <laughs> wow. Really muscular, me. The car doesn't have its new wheels yet. So they're fitting a smaller temporary set for the test drive. Pitbull's 450 horsepower engine needs to be started up for the first time. Let's fire it up. Check the engine runs properly out on the road. Sounds good. Yeah, I can feel the power, you know? Oh, a lot of power. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Set the alarm off there. Yeah, they're beeping at us. Yeah. yeah. The car is running perfectly. This air run is like riding on a cloud. Those guys really rocked it, bro. Whoa. And it's turning heads. Literally. Oh, look at this. New car. It yeah. still needs a show quality finish. And it's due at the auto show in only six days. Oh. Holy crap. Back at the shop, Pitbull is calling in favors. Give me your phone real quick. He has less than half the two weeks required to take the car from Lipu's bare metal to a super smooth finish and show quality paint job. He sent the team and car to get help from the AutoZium, a local teaching school run by bodywork specialists. The guys that they brought in here from their, from their class, they don't make mistakes, they're really good. It's moving along fast, we just hope we make our deadline. It's a teaching institution, and then they're excited to work on a car like this. Today we had, I think, uh, seven guys during the day, and now I think we have about ten people here working. 
So maybe three, four more days, we should be in ready for paint. All right, we're all ready to prime. I'm going to go in the booth and take care of this now. We're really, really coming dangerously close to the deadline, and this is such an important deadline. It's not something that maybe we could push back a little bit because the auto show is going on with or without us, and if it goes on without us, then we're really screwed. It's 8 a.m. on the morning of the auto show. I've been at the show already since 5 a.m. The most important car is not even here yet. You know, I'm sitting here kind of nervous. You know, I took a chance with these guys, and I even flew my dad in from Los Angeles. And the doors are about to close. By 9.30, the exhibitors are putting the final touches on their displays. John from JTM Motorsports, who fixed Pitbull up with the engine, is all set for the show. Man, it's almost 10 o'clock. Steve doesn't make it to this show, it's going to cost him thousands of dollars. That engine ain't cheap, transmission's not cheap, and he's going to have to come out of pocket on this build. Oh, these guys still aren't here. I hope they're not playing around. This is, this is serious. This is business. Come on, move it. Come move on. it. Wait, get out of the way. God. It's the big day. Leap Boo and Pitbull are unveiling their customized Ford Ranchero at the New York Auto Show. But there's only 30 minutes until the loading doors close and no more cars can enter. They're nowhere to be seen. Hey, Steve, uh, just checking in on the car. It's uh, 930 and uh, I don't see the car here yet. So just uh, want to make sure you guys are still coming down. Is that it? There it is. They arrive with just minutes to spare. Well, it's about time. What the old traffic was oh, crazy, man. man. I oh. think I'm going to make it. But if Miles doesn't like the car, it's not going into the show. Miles, what are you thinking, man? Is it going to make the cut or what? You know. What are you thinking, man? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like you guys killed it, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you, Mom. So, let's get this thing. Let's get it unloaded, though, because, you know, the door's going to close. You made it. Four minutes later, the crowds descend on the show. Among them is one important guest, Miles' dad. He has no idea that Miles brought his car to New York or that it's sitting right in front of him. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming today. We're going to do this big unveil of this very, very special and important vehicle. I heard about these guys, Lipu and Steve. They do amazing, amazing vehicles, and I heard they could do it affordably. So um, I wanted to ask them to uh, build a vehicle for me that's near and dear to my heart. I got my family here today, my wife, my father, my, my daughter, my mom. But dad, we've been kind of lying to you. I'm not coming to the show to get an award. I'm actually awarding you. If it wasn't for you and mom, I wouldn't have started Dub Magazine. So we're here today to give you a gift. I want to show you your 1972 Ford Ranchero. Of time, money, and hard work went through this build. Looking at Miles' father's face, this is the moment of truth. One, two, three! I just want to know one thing do you like it? Leepu's 22 front and 24 inch rear wheels are protected by Brian's massive shield arches. The Dodge Challenger lights at the back are matched by a mean grill and hood scoop at the front. Leepu and, and Steve, they did a fantastic job. I am the happiest man in the world. Now, 
tomorrow and years to come because of this car. Under the hood, the engine's packing a Shelby four-block V8, giving the car 450 horsepower. To match its muscle, Pitbull's added massive triple piston brakes with maximized stopping power. Launch pulling kit, Maui distributed. It looks like a battle. It's badass. <laughs> this thing is badass. I had my doubts, and when I saw this thing, I damn <laughs> myself. <laughs> you know what, Leepo? Look, here's the deal. I'm about eight grand out of pocket on this car right now, business wise. Looking over my shoulder, all around us is money, money, money. That means more happy dollars oh, yes. marching our way. I was pretty nervous, but we Me knocked too. it right out of the park, brother. Good stuff, man. Let's, Let's get go. out of here. Go get a drink, huh? There's nothing that's going to make me happier than seeing my dad behind the wheel of that car. Because you could already see it in his smile. He's in love. It's incredible. It's incredible, Mike. This is a father's dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.